Hey everybody, Sean Keating here. I want to welcome you to the Dental Up Podcast Show by Keating Dental Art. This week we have Dr. Pete Patelis, and he's from Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Pete, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well, Sean. Good to see you. Uh, it's been so, a while. So good to see you, man. I think last time I saw you was on a rooftop in Vegas. I think it was the Rio or something, and you were doing a lecture or something, and I was at like at a meeting, and uh, we hooked up, and that was good times, man. <laughs> it was. That's the last time I saw you. It's been a while. That was about 40 pounds ago, I'm thinking. <laughs> I was going to say, you look good. The hair's a little grayer, but oh, that, that happened to all of us. The hair went white, man. It's just like all these teeth, man. I love it, but, you know, I kind of like went to the mountain, and I came down like Moses, man. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> Well, dude, let's get into this a little bit now with you. I've been with you a long time. How long have we been working together, probably? <laughs> Forever. I, I think you were still with that other lab when we first started working together. <laughs> I think that's the way uh, a lot of the guys, uh, the other lab, we don't want to name, though. No. It's just... That's uh, right. We don't name any names. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to admit it, no. Now, I helped build that, but it's I built my own little monster here now, and I would really love it. I love coming in every day. We have this big case. I think we sunk like five implants and just did a regular tissue level impression, I think. And then I think we scanned that. You scanned that into CEREC and then we did our temps. And then, Correct. and right. now we're doing the finals and it's just, and it's all by dang CEREC. You know, I see what it's, what it's doing for dentistry across the United States and the world where you can practice and see a patient and a couple hours later they can leave you. But we could also do big stuff like this, full upper Absolutely. with implants, scan it, and there's no shipping and it's so freaking accurate. It's just- It's, it's accurate. And, and that's, you know, the big thing with anything that's digital, Sean, and, and what, whether it be, uh, whether it be CEREC or it, it be E4D or iTero, you know, it's not, it's not a panacea. It's not the right. It's not the right modality for every patient. Um, you know, I, I probably send as many units out to you every month as I'm actually making on a Sarah. Right. So uh, you know, it's not. It's not like every person that comes in my office that needs a crown done gets a Sarah done because it just doesn't work that way. Yeah, like you're saying, should I or could I do it with this and kind of use it, you know, that way? And I think most yeah, doctors yeah, probably do. That's a great point because I know in our office, if it's, uh, you know, if it's going to take us, you know, my, my pretty much my limit as far as what I'll do with CEREC is I'm not doing any anterior teeth and that's a personal preference. Uh, I just can't match what you guys do in the lab. Um, and, and the other issue is, is I won't do more than, I won't do more than two units in a quadrant just because it's not time efficient. Okay. And like you said, I could sit there and I could sit there and take an impression and send it out to you guys. And it's like, okay. Uh, prep and press, temporize. Okay, it's an hour and fifteen minutes. I'm like, okay, I might be three hours here, and that and that additional two hours and forty five minutes, I could cut four more units of crown and bridge. Absolutely. So, um, you know, you have to be you have to be conscious of you know what's the money factor involved with using it. Absolutely. And then